Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Kathy Weller and I would like to do a tutorial for you on how to take your raster artwork that you created in Photoshop and bring it into Illustrator to make it a vector piece of artwork that you can scale up with no loss of quality. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I'm going to open up a file of the artwork that I want to create into vector artwork. So what I need to do, you'll look at this piece of artwork. It has um, lots and lots of layers. Oops. It's got lots and lots of layers. And if I open these, then you'll see there's lots and lots of layers. So what I need to do is I need to flatten it, but remove the background. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select all of the layers that I want to paste together and I'm going to make sure that my background is transparent. So I'm just hitting, I have this selected, I'm going to hit Command E to, to paste everything together. I'm going to select all, I'm going to copy it, and now I'm going to open up my Illustrator where I have a file open that is already open and it's already the size that I want it to be. So as you can see, I've done several of, the, of these vectorized artworks already and now I'm gonna do another one. So I need to um, hit this little button down here, create new layer. I'm gonna name it so I don't get confused. I'm gonna name it for the artwork and I'm gonna make sure all my other layers are locked. So I'm on my Scorpio layer and now I'm gonna command Shift V to paste it in. Oh, it didn't actually paste where it should, but that's okay. I'm gonna drag it up here. So while I have it selected, it's very important that it's selected when you do this step. I am going to go to Object, Image Trace, and then I'm gonna to go to Make. And what happens is you get this box here that comes up, it already was up before, but so I have to make sure that I have my image trace box open and you can do that here. So click on the little checkbox for image trace and make sure you have that box open. So you have your artwork selected, that's number one, and then you have your image trace box open. So whatever action you take in here right now is going to be applied to your artwork. So uh, if you go to preset, these are all your options and like say you choose black and white logo, it's going to turn this black and white. But we want high fidelity photo because this is a really detailed full color piece of artwork. So I chose high fidelity photo. My view I chose is tracing result. The mode is color and the palette is full tone. These are all options that you can choose. If you choose high fidelity photo though, the other ones I believe are going to just self populate. So you're not going to have to worry about choosing those. But then there's all these other little details that you can choose depending on how detailed you want or how, how many, how many, um, points your artwork is going to have. I chose a really high quality, so I made my noise really low. Um, corners, 50. Paths, 50. Because I don't want, I want to, it's already going to have a ton of points. So we'll just see how this works. You can always Command Z, undo, and then try a different recipe for your artwork and every artwork is going to be a little bit different. So this is still working and it's going to be done soon. It's applying all of these okay so the image trays filters have been put through on the artwork and now the next step we want to do is we want to go up to object and then go to expand. Um, 
I have both of these checked. I believe if you have like an outline or something, you can mix it up and try different things, but I have both of them checked and this is what works for me with my artwork. So I'm gonna hit okay. And you're gonna see the magic. Okay, see all that blue? What's going on there? Those are all the points. So if I click off of the artwork now, you're gonna see it's actually all vector now. So I'm gonna just grab my selection tool just to give you, just to show you what's going on here. Oh man, look at that. So basically everything is vector now. And if I would like to, I can make it larger. For instance, I can grab this piece, copy it. I can create a new I can create a new I can create a new document. I can make it uh, large. Let's make this 10 by 10 and say OK. And now I'm going to paste in my artwork that I just copied. And now I'm just going to um, get rid of that. There's a box that happens around the artwork that you just have to remove. And this is just, I am being less careful than I would be normally. This is just for the sake of demonstration. So I, I grab the tool that selects all of the artwork and now I'm gonna shift and I'm gonna make it bigger just to show you what you're gonna get. If I make this, this is at least 100% larger than it was. So now this is 10 by 10 and you can see that if I am at 136%, so this is at 100% and you can see it actually looks really good, except for that little spot right there. But um, you, know, you can go in and clean this up. This is a really great uh, way to be able to make your artwork work harder for you <laughs> and you can always tweak it and try different things you can find the perfect recipe for your live trace your image trace you can find the perfect little recipe with that box here um, and you can just kind of mix it up and try different things and it will depend on the artwork that you that you're using for instance this one and some of the other um, some of my other Zodiac ones are like really detailed and they have um, shadows behind them and background colors and stuff. And what I can do if I wanted to, if I was going to use something for licensing, I would use this as a base to enlarge it. And then I would go in and really clean it up or I would clean it up earlier in the process and then vectorize it and then do additional artwork on it to make sure that it to make sure that it was, you know, perfect the way I wanted it so there wasn't any weird things that happened in the process cuz that can happen but this is a really good way to make your artwork work harder for you for you to get the most out of your pieces and I hope this has been helpful and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.